So we're back and our uh, spaghetti squash is cooked. That's exciting. And uh, we let it na naturally um, uh, oh, release. The release. Stone. So oh, it's see. time to open it up. The little red button right that's right here has gone down so that we know that it's safe. Oh, to listen open. to this. Oh, do that again. Do that again. Do that again. Did you hear that? It plays a little scale when you close the lid and open it so that you know for sure that it is properly sealed. Great. So we're going to uh, take out that. Um, Shall I hold that for you? No, that's good. We're going to take out that spaghetti squash and bring it over. There we go. Now we're going to put a little bit more um, chicken broth in because a lot of it, some of it has evaporated. Um, yes, we just a little bit more. And then we're going to put in the other spaghetti squash. Get that centered. We're going to turn that off. Okay, now we're going to put, put it on again, and we're going to take it. And if you're not sure if it's open or closed, the scale goes up when it opens and goes down when it's closed. So over we're going to take it to chicken and poultry. You see the chicken and poultry, and it's set for 15 minutes, but we only want it to go for um, seven. seven minutes. So Is that? Minus, you want the minus sign? No, no, we have to press time. Oh, we do. There you go. And we then the minus sign to take it down to seven, and then start. So it's going to come to pressure first, and then it's going to count down from seven. And uh, meanwhile, we're going to deal with the spaghetti squash that we have. We have this beautiful insulated bowl from Pampered Chef, and it keeps hot things hot. So yes. we're going to... we did rice the other day. It was wonderful. Yes. So we're going Look to take a sharp, well, a, a fork here. And you can see, I don't know if you can see. Well, it looks like angel hair. <laughs> yeah, you can see that as you scrape it off, it kind of looks very spaghetti-like, doesn't it, Eric? It sure does. Yeah, so, and we just keep pulling it away from the sides. Whew. And putting it in. So we're going to be able to do that. Um, this looks like it's really cooked well, Eric. So it really does look like spaghetti. I was I remember being so excited about that as a as a, a student, because it you know you eat with your eyes first, and so it looks like spaghetti, and it you know it's something it, for me at the time it was something so brand new. And I was so excited about it because I knew that I could eat lots of it and that it wasn't going to be a lot of calories and it was going to be much better for me than traditional pasta. Look at that, Eric. Look how wonderful that is. Do you want to keep doing that, dear? Sure. So give it, it it's, it's a little so al dente. There but it is in the pan. Looks exactly like spaghetti. Yeah. There you go, hon. We'll okay. keep doing that. So we have one ready and one will be ready soon. And we are going to serve this with a prefabricated pesto sauce um, that we got from Costco, didn't we, Eric? We did. And it's lovely. And on a, a nice autumnal uh, weekday evening, it's a really quick dinner. Um, and very delicious. And like I say, this wonderful, um, is that, would you like, um, probably a little, a little warm for me to be doing that. Okay. How about this? Here? I'll try Do you want to take this? <clears throat> oh, the aqua. That's a good idea. 
There we go. Now I can get down and dirty. And look at that. That's amazing, Eric. So I'm just going to dig at this for a little bit. It does take a little bit, but it's, it's important that it look good. And it's important to get as much of this off as possible. You'd be surprised how close you can get to the skin. Well, actually, it can be, you can get it right down to the skin. There's hardly anything to throw out, is there? Nope. And you can, of course, put that into your compost and that can... I'll bring this closer now. Excellent. Excellent. Right. So thank you for joining us. Um, we will toss this with a little bit of pesto sauce and serve it with some beautiful, beautiful uh, uh, grated... Uh, Parmesan or uh, what do we have? Asiago. I think. Asiago. We've got Asiago in the house at the moment. So how's that coming? Are you almost down to it's, it? I'm, I can feel. See, I can feel. In fact, look at the bottom. I'm through the bottom, but there's no skin in there. Okay. Excellent. So you've done a great job. So this is, boy, you, you, you certainly get more bang for your buck with this. You don't get the kind of wastage you get with a lot of other vegetables. No thick core, no thick uh, skin. All beautiful vegetable. Excellent. Do you have the... It is right here. Well, thank you ever so much for joining us. Uh, have a wonderful evening. And maybe we'll come back and maybe show you a picture of what it looks like in the end. There you go. Does that Hang sound on. like a good idea? You don't want to sit there and watch me flail away at this with the fork. So <laughs> have a lovely evening. Have a nice meal. Try this. Yes, it's, it's well worth it's trying. It's a lot of fun. And, uh, you know, all things Pampered Chef, it's very, very good.